hey guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the another video in today's video i'm going to talk about ios 26 rc for the one last time and i'm quite excited about this update and i'm thinking that it's going to definitely is going to come tomorrow right after the apple event i'm also excited about the new iphones so one of you guys were talking about that should i talk about how all the leaks that are you know um expected iphone 17 leaks and all that stuff so i thought why not let's talk about that but before that, I want to talk about iOS 26 RC. I want to give it a final look to the iOS 26 RC. And if I say, I will just say, wow, the performance is amazing. So far, I am running like beta 9 over here. It is buttery smooth, amazing performance. Things are so nice. Amazing battery life. Really enjoying the overall iOS 26 liquid glass experience. If I go and share the battery life, maybe for the day i'm using today i used around 65 percent of my device and seven hours and 32 minutes screen on time which is really really amazing i'm digging it and i'm really happy how the performance is going on when it comes to the battery life so yeah i was 26 feels so completed feels so amazing from liquid glass to every single thing i am loving i was 26 um i really like apps for example over here as you can see the liquid glass look amazing so yeah it is really really great and definitely ios 26 rc is coming 9th september right after the event i will be making a full fledged video about that so just make sure to subscribe the channel make sure to hit the like button and i will be catching you guys very very soon right after the event and if i talk about the upcoming iphones that is one hot topic definitely i'm quite excited about the iphone i'm always excited about the iphone and as you can see, I am over here rocking iPhone 16. Definitely, I'm going to try my best if I'm able to get my hands on on the any model of iOS 7, uh, iPhone 17. That will be amazing. But if I talk about what we're going to get in terms of iPhone, the last in the leak, there are going to be a four different iPhone. iPhone 17, iPhone 17 Air, iPhone 17 Pro, and definitely iPhone 17 Pro Max. And if I talk about what is iPhone Air, that is a new entry of a new iPhone. So they are going to, you know, just discontinue the Plus model. So we are not going to get iPhone 17 Plus model at all. We are expecting uh, something else and that is definitely iPhone 17 Air. And that is going to be a slimmer model. Just like this is a quite a very slim device. Being very honest, iPhone XS over here in my hand. But we are expecting iPhone Air to be even more slimmer than this one that will be like really really amazing it's going to be a really really slim device with a camera bump all over here on the top i will be sharing the images over here and when it comes to the iphone 17 we are expecting the same hardware uh, sorry same design i mean like same um externals but uh new internals definitely new chip a better display better performance better cameras and all that but the outside is going to be the same. If I'm able to show you over here, like, let, just let me do this. As you can see, this looks really, really amazing. It's such a lightweight, a solid device. And this is what the same design we are expecting for the iPhone 17. But definitely with the new um, internals that are going to be really, really amazing. So yeah, that is all with the um, base models of iPhone that we are expecting definitely we are expecting so much stuff when it comes to the iphone 17 um pro and 17 pro max that are going to be the main highlight of the show definitely um in that we are expecting definitely a new design with a camera bump on the um back i am ex definitely thinking about that there will be something going on with the apple something going on with the um a new hardware regarding the camera something like that because apple uh, i don't know apple never use you know um waste any sort of space so i think definitely if there is a camera bump definitely there's going to be a something really really amazing and that is what we are expecting and definitely iphones all iphone 17s are gonna rock um the new ios 26 and that is what we are testing out for months now and that is easily one of the best update in the liquid gloss new design everything is going to change one of the biggest update in a decade and i'm quite excited about and even in terms of performance, I haven't faced any sort of, you know, issue with that. Performance is really good. Everything so far is really, really great. So that's all from the iOS 26 and the world of new iPhone um, 17. 
Now I want to give a bit and talk about the iOS 18 because that is easily one of the latest update for now for the public definitely who are the public testers a public beta testers and um, developer beta testers they are definitely running all new iOS 26 for, but for the normal public that are the you people maybe or someone like normal people they are definitely still rocking iOS 18 for now and for now iOS 18.6.2 is the latest update if i go over here and show you the about section over here as you can see this is the latest update and we are expecting ios 18.7 now here is the thing we are not expecting any sort of um betas for the ios 18.7 we are not gonna get any sort of betas we are definitely gonna get rc update we are expecting ios 18.7 rc update this week so maybe it can come out today not sure maybe while I'm shooting this video, it come out right after this video, I'm not sure. But this is the week we are expecting iOS 18.7 RC update. And the next week we are expecting, in the mid of September, we are expecting 18.7 public release for everyone. So yeah, for the people who want to stay on the iOS 18, they can stay on the iOS 18. Now, one of you guys asked me that iOS 18 is only coming for the devices that support, um, you know, that doesn't support iOS 26. So just important thing ios 18.7 will also come on iphone 16 but if you are on ios 26 you will not get the update but if you downgrade like if i don't get to 18.6.2 and wait for the 18.7 it will definitely come on the iphone 16 models too so it is completely your choice you want to stay on the ios 18.7 or ios 18.6.2 or you want to you know shift to the ios 26 but what I will suggest is definitely make a shift to the iOS 26 because this is a big thing. Amazing update, best features. And so far, it is not changing the iPhone, it is not changing the Apple industry forever because this is one of the biggest design change in a decade that is coming to your iPhone model. And yeah, I'm quite excited about that. So how things are going on so far, I'm um, definitely nice. I will be making um stories regarding Apple event I really, really, really wanted to try out the live streaming. I'm not sure if I'm available for the live stream, but definitely I will be, you know, making stuff over here and talking about all the new stuff that is coming, that is launching tomorrow. So yeah, one day to go. I am ex quite excited as you can see over here. Apple event, one day to go. All dropping event is almost over here. So yeah, just make sure to subscribe to the channel for the latest news. Subscribe to, you can also follow me on threads because I do post regular stuff over here as you can see i'm quite active over here so yeah just follow me over here um so if you want to get to know about what is going on with the all new stuff that is coming very very soon so yeah that's all from this small simple video just wanted to talk about what we're gonna get with the ios am um, 26 what i devices gonna get with on the apple event there are more products also coming definitely new airport and more stuff apple watch series 11 and we're also expecting se third generation and also expecting Ultra 3. Definitely, I will be talking about all those stuff. So yeah, until that, take care. Peace out.